तो इनके घर से हम औरतों के बेट में जो बच्चा है कोक में से निकाल के मारेंगे तो इन सोरों की करो विदाई Well, in yet another example of proving my point that Hinduism is no less bloodthirsty and barbaric than Islam, and that also the fact that there's no Hindu, uh, sorry, there's no free speech under a Hindu theocracy, uh, slip of the word right there, uh, here's another example just proving my point. This is uh, essentially a journalist was killed for being anti-Hindu. Her name is uh, Guri Lankesh, and she was basically killed for being anti-Hindu by confession of the killers. Okay, this is on the print. It says, Guri Lankesh was killed for being anti-Hindu. Confession of main accused Neveen Kumar. And I've already said before, I'm not good at pronouncing a lot of these Indian names, so just bear with me. But in the article, it says, journalist Guri Lankesh and other rationalists were killed because of their anti-Hindu views and repeated attacks on organizations working to protect, uh, protect Hinduism. A 651-page charge sheet filed by the Karnataka's special investigating team has said, the charge, the uh, charge sheet quotes main accused, basically the main accused killers, an illegal gun runner, as uh, saying that they were angry at Lankesh uh, because she spoke against the Hindu Dharma, the gods of the Hindu Dharma, and insulting the Hindu Dharma. So what did they do? They killed her for basically blaspheming Hinduism. No different than any Muslim over in Pakistan who would kill you for blaspheming Allah, the moon god Allah, or their false prophet Muhammad. But continuing on. The pattern of insulting Hindu Dharma and the need to eliminate those who threaten it has been true of other cases too, uh, said the charge sheet. Naveen's alleged confession statement that runs up to 12 pages has also nailed the involvement of a second accused, Praveen uh, Elias Sajit Kumar, in the case. Yeah, because it's not just a few isolated examples. It's a, it's a constant thing over in India. Continuing on the article, the statement submitted as part of the change sheet by the SIT to a Bengaluru court on the 30th of May indicates that Praveen was involved in planning, assigning, and executing, executing Lank, the uh, Lankesh murder. Uh, Naveen also revealed that the uh, that Praveen talked of eliminating uh, Guri when they met. Naveen was arrested on the 3rd of March. This was back in uh, 2017. His arrest on the 3rd of March. The SAIT on the 21st of May arrested four others. They get the names there for allegedly plotting to kill a uh, the, the, the uh, Myrus Myru whatever. Basically, this writer who was apparently also insulting Hinduism. They had a hit list too, apparently. So, yeah. Uh, similarities continuing on the article similarities in planning the execution of the killings were also reported by the SA SIT. Naveen's alleged confession claims that Praveen had approached him for a weapon to finish her for referring to Lankish off the uh, Sanatan Sansta sent however you say that Naveen's alleged confession not only spells how he was influenced by the activities of Hindu radical outfits such as the Bandrang Bang Bang Doll, I think is how you say it, and Sri Sri Le Rama Sin. Interesting name. Uh, it also mentions how he was taken in by religious seminars at the Sanatan Sansta in Goa. Uh, basically, this this uh, radical Hindu group that was located in Goa. The organization has a chain of centers in different parts of the countries, including Karna Karnataka and this other city. I, I'm not good at pronouncing. Basically, the bottom line is is that um, he was inspired by Hinduism to kill this person who was insulting Hinduism. So. Next time somebody tries to say that Hinduism is a religion of peace and pluralism, it's actually not. It's every bit. See, it's, it's only peaceful when they're the minority. But in Hindu majority India, I could actually be killed for making these kind of videos, Insult, insulting Hinduism or criticizing Hinduism because it's no less bloodthirsty or less Luciferian than Islam is. Both fall under the, the uh, Proverbs eight verse thirty six and John eight forty four category of being death worship. 
So, and both are just two sides of the same Luciferian Jesuit coin, as, as, I, as I've said before. So just more, more examples proving my point, that the Hindu terrorists are not terrorists. They're just Hindus, just like the Muslim terrorists are not terrorists. They're just Muslims. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, with all the brethren. Goodbye.